St. John chapter 14, verse 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Brakatai hawa, brakatai hawa shai, brakatai hawa, brakatai hawa shai, brakatai hawa, brakatai hawa shai, brakatai hawa, brakatai hawa shai. Ko halau la, yahawa ba shimi hawa shai, which means all praises to the Father, Yahawa, in the name of the Son, Yahawa shai. I also like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad, teaching his word is sincerity and truth. All right, I'm the brother Tazer Wolf from GMS New Jersey camp. And um, this one is going to be like a testimony. I had a dream last night. And, um, you know, I'm going to explain it to the best way I can. I want to leave some things out. All right. But I know this dream, um, you know, it was it was it was a peaceful dream. And this what drew me to this lesson, which I'll title it Peaceful Place, Heaven. All right. And we understand that those of the knowing, the whole four elect, we know that heaven is going to be here on earth not somewhere out of space, all right? And uh, with that being said, I go into the, the dream real briefly. Um, you know, uh, how where do I start? Um, all right, it dawned on me that I've been to this place before, all right? And I knew what it looked, I, I didn't know what it looked like, but I remember being there. I know that's weird, but that's just the way it was. This is a dream. All right. And there was a person with me and I was telling this person, I was telling them, look, you want to go to the peaceful place? I said, look, I could take you to the peaceful place. It's real peaceful. And this person was like, yeah, you know, let's go. You know, I would love to see it, you know. And and I knew in my mind that I've been there before, but I couldn't remember it. And I remember the angels, you know, the men standing there looking at you, everybody just looking at you. You know, so make a long story short, because there's more to it in the dream, but I'll leave certain parts out. You know, this person um, had got into something in my dream, got into like an altercation. Right. But it wasn't their fault. The person, this other person started with them. And um, as we was leaving this store, because that's where I was talking to the person. I was talking to him in the store. And as we was leaving the store, um, we appeared out of space. All right. We appeared where the galaxy is. We appeared out of the earth and we was like in this big giant tunnel. It was like a tunnel and we was at a door entrance. You know, I wish I was able to draw. I could draw these things up, these images in my head. But um, we was at this tunnel and we was at the door entrance, like this big door. So the door opened and we was out of space. And all I could see is the stars and the black matter, you know, um, the dark matter and and all the things that are out of space, you know, and I can, you know, I see the earth to my far left, see the earth real far, far deep to the left. So I knew I was way out of space and um, I could breathe the air and all these things, you know, and then the way to this place and into the, the way to this place was that we had to jump out the tunnel and just fall. You know, we had to have faith and just fall, you know, just jump out and fall. So the person that was with me was excited. I was excited. We wasn't afraid. And we jumped. We leaped. And we was just falling, you know. And as we was falling, and mind you, we're out of space. You can see nothing, all right, but stars, you know, balls of gas, the earth to the far left, and things of that nature. So we're just falling now at this point. We're falling. We're falling. And as we fall, you know, um, there's a ring. A ring started to shoot across toward us you know it was meeting us at a at a at a point you know it was gonna catch us so as it was coming fast it caught us we fell on top of it and as we fell on top of it the ring started to shoot into the direction in which it came all right so it stopped us from falling down and we fell on top of it and it started to go back across to where it came and as it was taking us, we was holding on to the ring. The ring started to spin. And as it was spinning, we held tight because we knew that it was like forming a formation. It was spinning to the point where it was going to go down now. All right. 
So as it was spinning, we was holding on to it. I said, hold on. We got to hold tight. And we held tight. And we went down, and it was nothing but light, 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 light. It was like a portal, all right? And and all of a sudden, you know, we appeared in this peaceful place. And it was a world. It was, it was, it was, it was heaven, man. As I make it out, my being in this truth, it was the kingdom, you know? Now, like I said in the beginning, the kingdom of heaven is not out of space. This is not something for this government Christianity. This is a dream that I had. All right. And we know that the Lord gives us visits and dreams, you know, so just to uh, decipher it. All right. Uh, uh, I'm excuse me. Let me get back. I'm losing my, my train of thought anyway. All right. So now we in the dream. Boom. Um, we go down the light and and um, all right, we appear in this place. But we I appear in a certain place. She the person that person she appears in another place. Right. And and here it is. I'm laying on a bed. All right. And there's a woman. I hear a woman voice uh, with her arm on my shoulder. Actually, kept, just kept saying to me, are you all right? Are you all right? Everything all right? Everything all right? Are you fine? Are you fine? I said, yeah, I was speaking. I, I woke. I was able to talk, but I was able to open my eyes right away. It was like one of those. Um. It was like one of those, uh, those, you know, how you sleep real hard, you tired, and then when you wake up, you could barely open your eyes. It's hard to open. Well, that's what it was like. And as, um, and as I was uh, opening my eyes and I was telling the person, yes, I was like, I'm okay, I'm okay. And they was like, okay. But the way they were saying it, not in a rush type tone or scared manner, they was just like, are you all right? Are you all right? Are you okay? You okay? You okay now? You okay now? Like basically making sure that I... That, I, that, that I'm not shooken up by what I just went through, you know? And um, and I when I cracked my eyes before I could actually open it, I could see the glare. You know how you could see little, little bits before your eyes stay open? I saw the angels. They all were standing like in a cross all together. And it was just looking at me. And I felt, <laughs> you know, I felt like, dang, why is everybody staring at me, you know? And um, as I could open my eyes even more and more, I couldn't see this woman's face. But as I could open and I opened and I was saying, I'm all right, I'm all right. And I looked up and I saw a face. My eyes were open. And then everybody appeared just as just regular. You know, it was just regular now. You know, the woman, she was like a um, I don't know. She was northern woman. Um, She was northern. And um, she was like, OK, well. And I just kept saying, where's my friend? Where's the person that I came with? And it was like, you got to go find him. And I was like, all right, I'm going to go find him then. And um, I got up and we appeared like in a marketplace. It was a marketplace. You know, everybody was just doing their thing. They was just walking around, shopping and doing that. And um, I had all white on. And as I was walking, you know, I went to find the person, the female. And I couldn't um, find that person. I found her. And then, you know, this person, she was like, oh, wow, this place is, you know, this is amazing. It's peaceful here, this and that, this and that, you know. And, I, you know, I'll leave it at that with the story. It's more to it, but I'll leave it at that. And I want to make this a, a rent. You know, that's just a testimony, a little vision, dream, vivid vision, dream I had last night. It was uh, woke me up. You know, I spoke about this dream when I got up because it was amazing. You know, I was able to. <laughs> have visions and dream of the kingdom, man. You know, you don't get that all the time. You know, all praise to Yahweh Bashem was shy because it was beautiful. It was peaceful, man. You know, at first everybody was, you know, I saw the men, the angels stand at me. It was that, that what we, what we will see sometimes in this flesh, you know, when you see the images of angels, you, you picture the white light, you know, the, the, the distance, but you could make them out. And then when my eyes were fully open, everything was just regular, you know. But anyway, so let's get these scriptures. This is John chapter 16 and 33. These things have I spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace in the world. Ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. All right. So what I got from this dream is these scriptures in which the Lord Yahweh spoke, you know, he to comfort us, man. He said he have overcome this world 
And it's truly that our Lord, Yahweh Shai, is the one that's going to give us peace because there's no peace right now, man. Our spirits are troubled. You know, we're catching hell, catching tribulations. It's always like a up. It's a merry-go-round or it's ups and downs going on in your life. You know, it's the same type of pattern goes on. They, this world is wicked. They worship the same holidays, um, these pagan holidays every year. The same wicked demons do the same wicked things. They just choose they hop on people left and right to do these things, man. So you end up seeing the same thing over and over, you know? So Yahweh Shai said here in John 16 and 33, these things have I spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace. So in Yahweh Shai, we truly have peace. And I know you brothers that, that are in the truth and sincerely in the truth, you can contest, you know, being in this truth compared to your life that you was in the world, you truly have a peace of mind now, you know? You're not everywhere. You're not out in the streets. You're not with your homies. You're not doing any drugs. You know what I'm saying? You're not caught up in the music. You truly have a peace of mind, man. A peace of mind. You can think. You can meditate. You can, you can be alone, you know? It says, In the world ye, have, ye shall have tribulation, but... Be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. And Yahweh Shai also spoke. He said, in my father's house is many mansions. He said, he will go and prepare a place for us. So meaning now, the Lord has prepared the different planets for us, man. He prepared the whole world for us. The galaxy is all given to us, man. You know, this, this world and, and other worlds is given to us. You know, so we have to be of good cheer at the end of the day. We're at the end of Esau's kingdom. And the Lord got so much more to show us, man. This is not, see, <laughs> man, earth, us being here throughout the past and now living out this, this, uh, this last bit of captivity. Think about it. Our kingdom hasn't yet to begun. It's beginning now because we're waking up, but we haven't seen it yet. And it's brand new and it's everlasting and it's so much, man. That I know the Lord want to give us and show us, man. That's why the scriptures say, nor I, nor A have heard. All right. You know, and for that moment, when I was in a dream, it felt so peaceful there. You know, it was all Israelites. You know, I was looking, I didn't see any heathens or slaves or nothing that matter. I just was in a marketplace. I woke up in a marketplace and I saw a bunch of Israelites just walking around my name and they was looking at me, you know. They was looking at me and, you know, as I, like I was new or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like meaning that I was supposed to be there, but not at that time. It was like I was visiting. So they was treating me like a guest. You know, that was the spirit that I got from the, the Israelites in the, um, that were there. It says, um, John 14, 27, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let your heart be, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. All right. So whenever your mind get troubled, don't be afraid, man. Even through sudden fear that comes upon us sometimes. We can't be struck in or frightened, man. We got to remember and have faith and hope in the Lord because the Lord is always there. You know, I was watching the elders uh, live stream the other day. Um, uh, GMS at the job, all right, and the uh, elders out there in Connecticut, they were going in, man, and um, the brother, uh, he made mention about Psalms, the 18th chapter with King David, you know, I wanted to uh, piece that together with the brother going over that, Lord's willing soon, because, um, you know, that was beautiful, man, how the Lord came down and delivered David. With the chariots, man, you mean came down and made his presence, man, you know, against his against King David enemies, man. You know, that was beautiful. And that's the spirit and that's the faith, the understanding that we have to have to know that our heavenly father and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah is right there. You know, the angels are all around us, man. You know, we're truly blessed to have this truth. We truly blessed, man. It says, uh, verse uh, next scripture. Colossians 3 and 15, and let the peace of the most high rule in your hearts, 
to the which also ye are called in one body and be and be ye thankful. And that's very uh, I can't stress that enough. You know, be thankful. We have to be very thankful, man, that we have this truth, because if you really in this truth, you see what this world is like and you know that our people, two thirds of them are asleep, man. House niggas and hoes and, you know, you name it, man. All the bywords, man. You know, all of the worst. You know, why is the do evil? You know, you see what this world is worth. So it says, and let the peace of the most high rule in your hearts. So let the let the Lord rule in our minds, man. We supposed to think upon the Lord. We supposed to think upon the Lord every day. All right. We supposed to have the Lord in all our thoughts. To the which also ye are called in one body, which is in the body of who? Yahweh Shai. And be ye thankful. So be thankful, man. You know, don't forget the small things of life. Don't forget the small things. Your health. All right. Food. Um, uh, shelter. Clothes. You know, uh, the knowledge. The understanding. The knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding. You know, the small things, be thankful, man. Romans 5 and 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with the Most High through our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach. All right? So being justified by faith, because not everybody got faith. Not everybody can have faith. Faith is a gift from the Most High. You know, so we have to be thankful. Therefore, being justified by faith, See, we're justified by faith. You know, we have peace. Key word there is peace with the most high through our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. That's how you be with one with the Lord, man. All right. In that order, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Isaiah 26 and 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Because he trusted in thee. So no matter what we go through, Paul said it best. It's that Romans 8 and 34, 35. Nor peril, nor sword, nor nakedness, nor principality shall separate us from the love of the Lord. Because we trust in the Lord. Why are we able to trust in the Lord? Because of the Lord chastising. Because of the Lord's prophecies. Because we know that the Heavenly Father and the Son actually exist. Not just a belief but he actually exists. He's here. He has angels. These entities, they exist. These powers. What you can't see is here, but you just can't see it. And you don't have the faith to see it. Right now, we can see it because we have faith. That's the big difference. Not everybody can understand that. All right? Because the Lord ain't dealing with them. So it says, Matthews chapter 5, verse 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of the Most High, which really should be the sons of the Most High. All right. So peacemakers, this lesson is about peace. Peace is heaven. All right. We're in hell right now, but soon we're going to have peace. And that's what we truly are. We're the peacemakers, man. We're, we're the ones who the Lord set up, you know, the Lord's hopeful elect to come down you know, live a life like you. But we woke up, the Lord woke us up, sent us out there on the streets to make peace with you from the most high. The Lord got, the Lord has messengers to make peace with you Israelites, but you don't want peace. You want Esau, you want wickedness. So the most high has to destroy you in order to make peace because you're in the way. All the Lord wants and, and, and we of the hopeful elect is peace. But you guys don't get it. This is Matthew chapter five and nine. Blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of the most high. And this is my last precept. This is Romans chapter eight and six. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And that's what the spiritual mind, the spiritual power the Lord give us now. Is to, is to be what? Spiritually minded. Living more for the spirit than we are living for our flesh. We're fleshly too. 
but we live more for our spirit. We count more for our spirit than our flesh. We are willing to sacrifice our flesh for the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh because we can't see him, but we believe in him. We know he's here because of what he's done, what he does. You know the Lord is, is here. You know, I'm going to hit you with something for the non-believers. Who created the grass? Who created the sun? Who created the moon? Who created the stars? How did this stuff actually just fall and sink to a point where it helps the earth? Somebody put it together. Somebody put it together. It just didn't happen from a big bang theory, as Esau would tell you. It just so happened. It just the earth formed out of matter and water mixed. And then no, someone designed it. All right. And that was the heavenly father, Yahweh. OK, which he gave the blueprint to Yahweh Shai and the Allahayim, which is the powers that help Yahweh Shai create all things in the earth through the power of Yahweh. That's the, the true understanding. And if that's too simple for you to understand, then, then you just can't get it, man. You know, so, you know, that's all I got um, from a dream that I had last night. You know, it was beautiful. It was peaceful. I, I mean, I woke up peaceful. It was a peaceful type of vibration, you know, which is the kingdom. So with that, I hope you was edified. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.